Hi guys, Derek here, and today I would like to show you how to do a front disc brake conversion on a 1959 Dodge Royal. There are many conversion kits on the market right now, but we chose AAJ brakes because they allow you to use your original 14 inch rims. The parts list includes a 1970 Plymouth Satellite Master Cylinder, 76 Dodge Dart Rotors, bearings, seals, dust caps, and lug nuts, 1976 Chevy Monte Carlo calipers, pads, brake hoses, and banjo bolts. And in addition to that is the bracket with hardware, spindle adapters, and spacers. So I already set the car up on a jack stand, set the emergency brake, and also check the rear wheels just for safety. I already took off the front wheel, so the first thing we're going to do is going to take off the dust cap. I already took the cutter pin out. Now you're going to grab the channel lock and remove the spindle nut. Next thing you're going to do is remove this washer. Here you might have a bearing that can come off, but first thing you can do is just attempt to pull this out. And set that down. Now here we have four nuts in the middle. We can you don't have to disassemble any of the brakes, just these four are gonna come apart. But first, we're going to take the brake line out using a 3 8 and a 5 5 8 wrench. And removing this clip. Okay. Now that we removed the brake line, all we have to do is remove these four bolts. To save time I already used penetrating oil and also disassembled it. So I already assembled the bracket from AAJ Brakes. As you can see, they provide us with four bolts with three different sizes. The two long ones go on this corner and this corner for the steering wheel linkage. And the two shorter ones go on this side and this side with a spacer in between. After cleaning the spindle, you're going to get your spindle adapter and slide it through, usually using recommended lock tie, red lock tie, and slide this on. So the next step is to assemble your wheel bearing and the seal. We already packed the wheel bearing with high temp disc brake wheel bearing grease. We set that in and on top of that placed our seal. So now we're just going to go set the rotor in. As you can see, I already lubricated the spindle. It's going to drop down because you don't have your outer bearing. So you're just going to set this in and push that in all the way. Now you're going to grab your spacer and then place that on, push that in. Now you're going to get your castle nut or your spindle nut and tighten it just enough hand tight 
because if it's too tight, your bearing will burn, and if it's too loose, we don't want the wheel to wobble. Okay, so we're now going to tighten up the castle nut. So we got it snug tight, and it's spinning freely. Now we're just going to check if there's any wobble, which there isn't. So we're just going to back it down so we can drop our cutter pin. I already assembled the calipers with the brake pads, your brake line, and your uh, banjo bolt. I already installed it. All we have to do now is just hook up our brake line hose with the original one. Um, right now, we're not going to install the master cylinder with the dual reservoir. We're just going to use our single reservoir, original one, on the car, just to get the car out and see how it is. But next week, I'll come and do, put this back on, and I'll have a video for that for you.